snap, we have some major news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some epic 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 news for this video before we get started though give the video a thumbs up big like 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 and playstation 5 console giveaway i'm looking at the playstation 5 i'm giving away right now hey i saw it i showed it in my let me just show it man dudes be like what he talking about we're giving away this bad boy in October. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're following me for this epic giveaway as well as you got to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter. I think I said that. All right, let's get to the news. Let's get to the news. I'm not going to show this PlayStation 5 every video. All right. All right. We're just going to get to the news, bro. Gamescom went down yesterday and I almost said I should have live streamed it this year. Last year wasn't that lit gamescom for me in the past has just been a rehashing of e3 announcements but they actually had original content and information to announce which was pretty lit so i'm gonna go over my highlights of the presentation and you can share uh in the comment section anything i may have miss missed or games that stood out to you the first one <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West, we have a release date, February 18th, 2022. Bro, February is going to be crazy next year once you see the rest of the games. But Horizon Forbidden West, February um, 2022. And the game, of course, looked amazing the last time Sony showed it. But we have a concrete date. The delay has been confirmed. We all knew it was going to be delayed one of my most anticipated games already so 22 is going to start off with a bang also sony announced horizon zero dawn on the playstation 5 update to 60 frames per second which is impressive for a open world game i believe it's 4k 60 frames per second which is impressive but that game is graphically intense and it's an open world game <laughs> My expectations for every game is 60 frames per second. No more 30 frames per second gaming. All right. And so that was lit. That was lit. That was lit. The next, next, next lit announcement. This Marvel Midnight Sun game. Marvel Midnight Sun. Now, it's going to be a tactical RPG. I'm thinking when I hear tactical RPG, I think mario and rabbits so calm something like that but with marvel characters we don't know yet we haven't seen actual gameplay this was just a cgi trailer but it looks lit 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 and this game also um coming out in 2022 march 2022 to be exact so spring 2022 is gonna be lit this was a surprise surprise announcement you see the dude that was in the intro of my video that said hey what's up obi-wan plays that's jeff keely and jeff keely brought the heat um yesterday with uh, these gamescom announcements so marvel midnight sun a welcome surprise they showing x-men so love bro i grew up in the 90s bro X-Men was the way, bro. X-Men what is what this generation's Marvel uh, Avengers is. X-Men was so popular, bro. They had cartoons, uh, lunchboxes, book bags, everything. X-Men was it. And so it's good to see them showing X-Men some love. They literally killed off X-Men in these movies, bro, which is a shame what they did to um, X-Men. So hopefully they can have Doctor Strange do some 
time warping and multiverse. Bring X Men back, bro. Bring Wolverine back. Bring them Storm back. My favorite X Men. Bring them all back. So that game looks dope. Also, more information on Death Stranding um, director's cut. Uh, the game is coming out, of course, September twenty fourth at the end of September. But they had more information. This game ain't really on my radar. It never was. I skipped it on my PlayStation 4. I still don't know if I'm going to get this on my PS5. This doesn't look interesting to me, man. I don't know. I, I just, It just doesn't. Just because it's a Sony exclusive doesn't mean I'm going to get it. I'm not feeling the game. But Death Stranding. Another, bro. Now, this game looks lit. Sifu. Sifu. We got a release date for this game. February 22nd, 2022. Y'all see what I've been saying about February's gonna be lit. Sifu is coming February 2022 and the game looks lit, man. It's, it's gonna be a PlayStation exclusive. <coughs> I'm getting old Kung Fu NES vibes with this game, bro, but reimagined for next gen. So seafood definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be a day one buy for me, February. This next game, bro. I'm so hyped for this game. Bro, I grew up, one of my favorite games on my NES was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, bro. The first one was hard as nails. Had no business being that hard. But the second one was perfect and bro, they had an all new trailer of this game and this time you can play as April O'Neil, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Just before I started recording this video, my kids were in my game room playing on my 1UP arcade. I have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Lost in Time arcade cabinet. But bro, this is gonna be a day one buy. I'm gonna get this on my PlayStation 5 to try to platinum it, but can't wait, can't wait. They, they still didn't give us a release date, though. This has to come out this year. But no release date, which sucks. But at least we see that we can play as April O'Neil, which is going to be lit, 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 lit. I think this is from the same developers who made the Streets of Rage 4 remake, too. Which, you, the Streets of Rage 4 was dope. So, you know, this is going to be dope. All right. Next news item came out of nowhere. Saints... Row Reboot. Saints Row Reboot announced for February 2020. February, all, some of these games going to get delayed. This, February is not going to be this crowded, bro. But Saints Row Reboot, February 2022. This is going to be multi-plat on PlayStation and Xbox. This one won't be on the Switch. The Turtles game, Ninja Turtles game will be on the Switch. But Saints Row Reboot, never really, I never played, I played a Saints Row game before, but never really got into the a series, franchise. If this game is optimized for next-gen consoles, I will get it. If it's not, I'm not going to get it. It's that easy. And it depends what else is out in February. Because NBA 2K22, and they're doing seasons now. We're going to try to get the Legends, bro. All right, next news item. We finally get more information on this game that's been delayed what it seems like for all eternity. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. And this is going to be on all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch, spring 2022. 2022 was sounding pretty lit. A lot of 2021 games got affected by the coronavirus and pushed over to 2022. And so 2022 seems like it's going to be a packed, packed year for gaming. Lego, Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. I'm, probably, I'm not a real big fan of the Lego games, but I'm a big fan of the Star Wars Lego games. So I might get this too. All right. And the last big announcement, Halo. Halo, Halo, an all new um, hype slash cinematic multiplayer trailer was revealed and we got a release date december 8th i said this yesterday um halo is running from that call of duty and battlefield smoke <laughs> they don't want to be 
uh, caught up with those two big uh, multiplayer games. And so Halo and, and the Xbox did announce a Halo edition Xbox console. It looks good. It looks good, but I still not buying the bullet to buy an Xbox. I mean, there's no games on it that I'm, I'm just going to get the console to have it just sit here in my game room. So those were the major Gamescom announcements. Gamescom opening night was pretty lit. Shout out to Jeff Keighley, the Dorito Pope. He delivered. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bah, we out, boy. I have allergies, man.